No, 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 no. You gotta start over, buddy. Right? 9 a.m. class. Mm -hmm. I am intro today I'm introducing myself through David Ortiz. Born on November 18th, 1975 in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. He he started his career at a young age, around 10, I believe, in baseball and basketball. He then went on and trained really hard and he was scouted at a young age by the Seattle Mariners. He then got cut from the team, got cut from the team on his 17th birthday. And then he and then he uh, got he changed teams to this a triple A team. There, then a couple years later he signed on to the Boston Red Sox in 2003. In his heyday, around in the year 2006, when he started winning championships with the Boston Red Sox, everybody started to know who he really was. He then was named was was named one of the greatest clutch hitters in uh, Red Sox history. He had over 500 career home runs, a thousand uh, RBIs with a run better, and and over 2,000 hits. In 2009, he then went to the White House with the Red Sox organization as they celebrated their championship win. He then created, the year later, he created a children's fund that helped give back to the community where he came from in like Boston and back in the Dominican Republic. This year was his last year in the MLB, the major leagues. He retired. He retired, he retired this year, which his uh, jersey is going to be hung up in the stadium. And there's a, uh, it's going to be a street named after him right outside the stadium for all his like, tributes to the team and to the city of Boston. And even though this was his last career, cut, I believe he was like 39 or 40 now, he still had one of the highest batting averages of all, any baseball player. And, Now, how does that have to do with me? Well, as you know, he's Hispanic, and I was born Hispanic too, because my parents are Panama. And so we have a lot in common, and the more, the most important thing I think we have in common is that he's a very hard worker, and I believe like hard work, you can do anything, even through any trials. From like middle school, high school, I've been working really hard to have good grades so I can push myself to become better. And he pushed himself through like training and like staying late at the stadium, practicing to become a better player, even though he got cut from multiple teams. And so in my conclusion, like don't ever like if you ever fail, just get yourself back up and keep trying and trying because you never know who's watching that can help you. And like they can really like push yourself to become successful at anything, not just sports, but life itself, school, or anything like that. And thank you for listening to my speech, 9.30 class.